All right, challenges for single guys out in the dating world. I think a huge challenge, I don't know if it's the biggest one, but definitely one of the biggest ones is gonna be access to meeting new people, like willingness to go meet new people, but really in general, just access to new girls in their existing environment that they're in. So, you know, back in college, you probably went to parties, you were probably in a fraternity or sorority, um, you probably, um, probably had like a big group of friends, um, you were in lots of classes with all different types of people, and um, you know, you had access to a lot a greater amounts of different types of people. And um, you know, once you get into the working world, it's different. You know, in, you're in the workplace for you know eight to twelve hours a day. Then maybe you have time to go to the gym after that, and maybe you have a recreational activity that you do or something like that. But you have these smaller so social circles at this point. You have less time to socialize because now you're paying the bills, etc. And so, so you have a social life, but it's not quite as flourishing as it was back in college. And so a lot of people tend to sort of casually meet new people through their social circle. And that's one way to do it. You don't have to do it that way. But the problem is when it's not as big as what it maybe once was or when it's just not doing the trick to help you meet that person that knocks your socks off, um, you know, you got to do something different. Um, and, and in this scenario for the working professional, dating apps are something that, you know, is really not that bad a thing. Like if the club isn't your scene or maybe going out to the bar isn't your scene, you, know, you can hop on Tinder, uh, Hinge, or Bumble and meet lots of new people throughout the week. Whereas maybe you went to work, maybe you worked 12 hours that day. You come home, you're a fucking zombie. Like you literally can do nothing but just like zone out to Netflix or whatever. And instead of doing that, you can pull out your phone and just swipe left or right on uh, Tinder or whatever. And um, you can have people in the funnel to maybe meet on a weekend where you actually have the energy to show them what your personality is. When you have the energy to, you know, have some charisma and uh, actually have a good meeting then when you're ready. Um, so the apps are really cool in that sense. But they have downsides too. So one downside to the dating apps is that they tend to favor really good looking guys over the average guy. And you think about it. So... Um, all a girl can see in your profile is what you look like and maybe try to size up your personality by your you know, bio or your description or whatever. And uh, that's putting us as, at a disadvantage because a man's value really comes from his masculinity, his strength, his uh, uh, purpose, his desire to produce out in the world, and, and his, just his overall strength. And they can't get a sense for that you know, until they're in front of you, right? But if you can never get in front of them, you know, or, or your chances are limited, you're gonna have a smaller pool to draw from uh, because say the best looking guys are getting swiped on the most, it's gonna be more of a challenge for you. So that's not to say that it won't work for you if you're not a really good looking guy, but you're gonna have a lot better odds out in the real world, you know, approaching women and, and learning how to have those conversational skills on the fly than say you would if you're just swiping all day. And that's a fact because it creates a situation for men online like it is for girls out in the real world so if a guy's talking to like a 7 out of 10 and a 10 out of 10 you know a lot of times guys are going to be shallow and we're going to choose the 10 out of 10 uh you know looks thing over the seven um because we're biologically programmed to like want that really attractive girl um for guys that guy that's like a 10 out of 10 looks wise, but he opens his mouth and he's an asshole and he just is like a shit human being or whatever, he's gonna lose out to the seven out of 10 guy that has his shit together, who's empathizing with the girl, who is uh, like a strong man, maybe just isn't quite as attractive as the other guy. And uh, that's not to say that, you know, if Channing Tatum were standing here right next to me right now, and let's, let's make Channing Tatum a shit human being in this example, right? He's Obviously, he's got to be a great human being to excel at the level that he has in acting, right? But put him right here, right now, hey, that's not to say that every girl isn't going to go for that. But, um, but you get what I'm saying. So, so as a man, you know, your, your other qualities are going to um, put you in favor a lot more than just say looks. And so you're putting yourself at a disadvantage if all you do is just get online and try to meet girls that, that way. Um, so just be aware of that. It's not to say that you can't do it, but you know you might be forming some idea as to what you're entitled to. What level of girl are you entitled to by the matches that you get? And say if you're not the best looking guy in the world, um, but you, you take care of yourself, you groom, you go get haircuts every week, and you you know you try to dress stylish or whatever. Um, you know if you're doing the basics, 
and you're still not getting a lot of matches, you might be forming the story in your head that, hey, like I am only entitled to X level girl, but the results are skewed. So you'll find that, say, maybe on, on some of the apps, especially if you're not paying for them, because I, I really believe that if you're not paying for the apps, um, you're going to get less favorable results than if you are paying for them, whatever their, algorithm, uh, whatever their algorithms are. I feel that it's going to be skewed in the favor of the people that are paying for the apps, okay? Even though they say they work in specific ways or whatever, I think that, if you're, especially if you're just swiping for free or whatever, you're going to get less results. And don't let that affect your sense of entitlement in terms of what you think that you deserve in terms of the, the type of girl that you can meet. So, um, like right now, I don't I don't pay for the dating apps or anything, and I swipe and stuff. And like, and when I when I do pay, I tend to get like better results. Like right now, I'm not paying for them, and uh, my results aren't so great on the app. But it's funny because, so like for take take myself for right now, those results. If I let that tell myself a story about what I'm entitled to, I would be totally totally shutting myself down. Whereas in reality, I can walk up to the most beautiful girl on the street, strike up a conversation. And, and tell that she's into me. And that right there shows you the imbalance of like the way things are skewed online. So don't avoid online dating apps because they can, you can definitely meet some great people. Over the last year, I met a lot of great people um, through online dating apps. Um, but don't let it skew your sense of, enti sense of entitlement because you need to have a high sense of en uh, entitlement to be able to, um, to put yourself in the best favor. So if you go into, say, like a first date or um, like a new conversation with a girl um, and you're already wondering where you stand with her, that's gonna make her perceive that you're a lower value guy and then you're gonna, you're gonna start off on the wrong foot. But if you're starting off with a sense of entitlement that you deserve this girl and that you, you're already sure that she likes you, likes you, whether or not she actually does, she is going to sort of feel what you're feeling, okay? And that's gonna become the new reality. So you're shaping your reality through your beliefs just like you do with anything else, and you wanna have that sense of entitlement. So don't skew that based on your match results because that story that you're telling yourself could be really based off of fucked up data, okay? So that's one thing to keep in mind. So that's if you're using dating apps. Um, so there's other things that you can do. Like one thing that I like to do is use Facebook because you know, you, so you can, you can add random people on Facebook and not everybody who's interested in you or not everybody that adds you is going to be interested in you from a romantic perspective, right? So you might friend request, a, for example, like a 10 out of 10 girl on Facebook and, um, and maybe she has no interest in you whatsoever, but you have access to message that girl to find out and you can use video to convey your personality a little bit and see if there's any chemistry there. Um, and that's something you can't do with the dating apps. You can pre-record a video and use it in your little photo stream and maybe put that first and maybe if a girl wants to wait for that to load or whatever, she'll wait and then either swipe left or right. But it's not the same as sending like a personalized message through video showing your personality. Um, and this is something you can do through Facebook. Um, and uh, I, I would imagine you can do it on Instagram too. I'm not, I'm not, I know Instagram is more popular than Facebook right now. There's a lot, uh, a lot more like especially the younger crowd, a lot of attractive girls are on Instagram or whatever. I just haven't got up to speed with that yet. That's something I need to do. Um, so I realize that's like the new frontier or whatever. I'm just, I haven't done it. So I would imagine you can do this on uh, Instagram also. Um, so, so that's sort of the intermediate. So like, like over here is like the dating apps, like using Facebook and Instagram, like social media, I think it's like a step up because you're gonna, you can purposefully seek out the level of girl that you're interested in. And then I think that even a step up from that is training yourself to be able to approach uh, beautiful women out in public and then striking up that conversation. And, um, and basically, you know, you know what I mean? Like your radar for what you're looking for is active as you're out in public. And so if you see it, you know, go out and, and invest, investigate and, and see what comes of that, right? So you could actually directly go for what you want out in public, but you have to be ready, right? Because if you're not ready, then you know, you're like if you, what they say is that um, if you don't approach the girl within the first three seconds, basically you're screwed because you're already going to be in your thoughts. So you have to kind of see one, two, three, go, and if you don't do it right then and there, then it's done. And I've experienced this before. So, um, 
So I think that's like the next level. So and this is all proving to yourself that you're a high quality enough guy to be able to go out and get what you want. And, and so you don't want to let your mind be skewed off of whatever your results are with the dating apps. Um, once you get out in the real world and you're actually doing this stuff, you know, you, you get the results and you can, uh, you can actually tell yourself the proper story from that. And what's funny is that even doing that, you might get better results like out in person or whatever, but then you're also going to get the rejections, which are going to be much more real and visceral for you than say just the girl that tells you to fuck off, you know, through the dating app or just never responds, right? So you got to be willing to to go through the uh, to go through the pain to get the reward. So all of this is a process, you know. So so problems for single guys not being able enough meet enough people, and you can go these different routes to meet people but also keep in mind you know what you're you keep the proper sense of entitlement the proper story about what you deserve going in your head and be willing to put the work in um, if you choose to do the online route this is another problem that single guys will have is that they try this stuff but they end up getting so many flakes and it's so hard to kind of figure it out people give up and so if you're gonna go the online route you have to understand that it's not the same as talking to a girl out in public is. And that has its own challenges too, like say if you're complete strangers. But you don't get to be like a normal human being on a dating app. So you might think, hey, we match. We must both be attracted to each other. And now we're going to have a conversation and get to know each other. It doesn't work that way. The way it works is that um, basically, and this is why I like Bumble the best, because the girl message is first. So... From the very beginning, you get to see what her investment level is. Like a girl might come at you with a paragraph from the very beginning. That's a high level interest. That means already from what she sees, she's super into you, okay? And the way this works is through the, the, your timing and your response to her and your, the length of your message, you get to control her interest level from there. So you, you, what you want to do is scale it one down in terms of investment level so if she sends you a paragraph you send her a half a paragraph okay and then if she you know hits you up say five minutes later from your last text maybe you just wait a little bit longer than that and this is demonstrating that you're a high quality guy that you've got shit going on that she's not the center of your world even though she's a beautiful girl and she's used to getting attention she's getting this attention from other guys she's going to wonder what it is that you have going on that is not making you like jump to respond to her every two seconds just like all the other guys do um, so you want to control her interest level through the timing and the content of your messages and this is not an intuitive thing so you get on a dating app say you just want to be a normal human being hey bro like I don't want to put all this effort in this seems like creepy or, or manipulative or whatever it's like okay well you just just try being a normal human being on a dating app and see what happens what will happen is that you will have girls that you would be super fucking interested in that you'll meet over the course of a few months or whatever and you'll be so excited you'll you know you'll open the floodgates of excitement and interest and all this stuff you'll have a conversation and it will trail off into nothing and you will never meet this person and guess what it'll happen over and over and over again because the way this shit works is not being a normal human being is not hey man just be yourself that's not the way this works the way this works is you demonstrate that you're a high quality guy first through limited response and limited uh, kind of holding your interest level back and then you get the chance to meet up with her then you get to demonstrate what kind of person you are but even then on the date there's logistics and rules there too and you slowly you know come together if it works out okay so there, there's 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 uh, the strategy to this shit and I hate that that's the case we all just want to get to be ourselves um, but but that's not the way that the world actually works um, and you can debate that if you want to you know whatever but uh, until you go through this shit time and time after you know time and time again and start to notice patterns uh, then let's have the discussion so um, so so there's there's ways that you can have elevated success on online dating apps same thing out in person right if you're gonna go approach girls you know like like we just talked about there's the three second rule um, there's um, you know obviously you don't want to like like stop a girl as she's walking and like 
step in front of her and like cut her off. There's there's lots of rules for being just like a, a friendly, approachable, like cool guy out in public, whereas you're not, you know, interrupting somebody too much from their day. You're not um, like putting some weird uh, demand on their time or their presence. Um, that you're not, you know, drawing energy from them, but instead you're, this, and this is really a huge key for uh, talking to girls out in public, which is just like offering something to them. Like you're offering your charisma to them. You're, um, you're, you're, you're elevating the mood, their mood for the day, right? And, and this is uh, like a chief complaint of guys for as far as like trying to go talk to girls. It's like, hey, I run out of stuff to say. I felt this before for sure. And, and so you go talk to the girl and it's like, oh, like, you don't, you don't know what to grow you don't know where to go next and it's because you're in this mode of like worried about like how they perceive you instead of starting from this place of like hey I'm gonna go have fun and just like bring like a smile to their day and now you're giving something it doesn't matter like what their perception of you is because you're just giving and then they're receiving and then like they're gonna choose to have fun with that or not or whatever so it makes it like a it's, it's a less uh, pressured interaction um, so, so there's definitely lots of tips that you can um, put into play if you're going to go any one of these routes. Say you're busy, busy professional, you're trying to figure out how to meet new girls. Um, you know, there, you want to put some effort into studying whatever way that you're going to go do it. Um, but, but I think um, really what I just wanted to close on is that yeah, like once you get out in the uh, working world, it can be tough to meet. You know, the, is, well, really you need to meet lots of people if you're going to uh, meet that one that really does it for you, you know, and, and your social circle like might not cut it, you know. So, so look into uh, sort of uh, creating a funnel, if you will, so that way you can meet lots of girls and figure out which one's going to do the trick for you. And, uh, and then once you start doing it, be watchful. Notice that you can't just always be yourself in the beginning. You have to limit the interaction and you have to do things to sort of heighten the suspense and the, the attraction level to get that person to meet up with you because it's not a it's not this um, uh, it's a logistics thing right meeting up for the first time is a logistics thing and you'll get flakes you know um, so you have to put some effort into it and uh, so just pay attention put some effort into it uh, get out there start to meet new girls and um, that's all I got